On today's video, we are gonna do a milk and cookies cappuccino recipe. And this is a very special video because we're gonna be using one of the new espresso Berry House coffee capsules that they came out with for original line machines. So thank you Berry House for sponsoring this video and let's get started. So Berry House did send all of their four new espresso capsules and most of the flavors look like winners. Even the intense one, I'm not actually intimidated by it. A little bit about Berry House. They are a fair trade certified coffee company and they're also a usda certified coffee company a lot of you guys have asked me if i know of any organic coffee capsules and so all the ones that i'm going to talk about today are organic so all right so they did come out with four new espresso capsules i'm going to talk about each one starting with dolcetto this is level intensity six the back just makes it sound super delicious it says tasting notes bright sweet malty clean finish easy drinking and so that sounds really good you can brew this one as an espresso or you can brew this one as a longo if you want just a little bit more coffee volume it's nice to have that option they also have a decaffeinado version of their espresso capsules and this is perfect for a nightcap i've done some on my instagram uh, reels and a lot of you guys will ask me like is that really caffeinated coffee you're drinking and usually it's decaf but i've been running out of my decaf capsules because i'm on a coffee no buy so this is nice to have this one is decaffeinado again level intensity seven and you can use this as an espresso or a longo as well their tasting notes clean sweet caramelly it just makes it sound so nice so these two right off the bat seem very very promising their next one level intensity eight raffinado i hope i'm pronouncing that right but this one is raffinado right here their tasting notes is intense caramel stone fruit raisin and it says it's good with milk out of all of them the only one that says good with milk is this one honestly i'm pretty sure that the other ones are good with milk as well but this one must be the best with milk you could uh, brew it as an espresso or a longo and i think this is the one that i'm going to be using for my recipe later on in the video last but not least is intenso uh, level intensity 10 and this one is only recommended to use as espresso not a longo their tasting notes is strong roasty traditional dark spicy so if you like a strong brew um, espresso this one might be just for you out of all the four i think these are going to be my favorites i'm going to do a taste test on all of them and just kind of see how they taste and then later on in the video i'm going to show you guys how to do a milk and cookies cappuccino it's so good trust me it is so delicious i'm going to start with this one just kind of work my way up so this one is dolcetto let's open it up all right, so this is the packaging here. I appreciate that they are still aluminum casings. And then if you open it up, you'll see how they recommend using it. Macchiato, cappuccino, and then a compana. So let's brew this one. All right, so here is my espresso shot. It actually smells really good it smells like a cereal note kind of capsule which i think that's what i was guessing because of the level intensity and the way that they describe it uh, in the back bright sweet multi clean finish easy drinking i'm gonna try it without milk and then i'll add a little splash of creamer on top to see how it tastes mm, this one's pretty good Wow, it is really easy drinking. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let me get some milk. We're gonna put a little bit of milk in there and then see how it mixes with the milk. All right, I'm doing Chobani oat milk, zero sugar. I'm just gonna put about a half cup. We're not gonna need that much, but since we have four capsules, I feel like this would be enough for all of them. And then for sweetener, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to sweeten it with a little bit of French vanilla on all of them. I feel like French vanilla is very like neutral. So that's what I'm going to do for all of them just to kind of keep it, you know, the same for all of them. Okay, so here is the milk. Let's try it with milk. It's pretty good. Pretty good. 
I'm telling you, by the by reading the notes, I feel like all of these are gonna be winners. I'm a little nervous about the level 10 just because sometimes I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to those stronger tasting ones, but I'm just adding the French vanilla, seeing how it tastes with a little bit of flavor. Yes, oh my God. That is so good. I feel like I got milk on my nose. I'm gonna be super hyper right by the end of this video because <laughs> I already, I almost like finished this whole thing. Yes, that is good. All right, Dolcetto, perfect name for this capsule. It is delicious. Moving on to Decaffeinato. This is how the capsule looks like. And then the bottom is just aluminum foil. Here is Decaffeinato, level intensity seven. Another cute little espresso mug. This one smells more woody. Clean, sweet, caramelly. It smells good. I'm not hating it, but it does smell a little more woody. Oh, it, it tastes almost fruity to me. It has a distinct fruity taste, but it doesn't say that. Clean and sweet. Maybe like that's why the clean. I would definitely consider it clean. Like it has, it has something. I don't mind it at all though. It's fruity to me. I don't quite taste the caramelly, but I'm assuming that will come once we add the milk. Let's add a little bit of milk. Okay. There you go. I'm telling you guys, milk just does stuff to the coffee. Now I can taste the caramel notes. For sure, but it still has a little bit of like a zing. Like, I guess the clean, that's because they said clean, sweet, caramelly. That clean note, I feel, is what... And it's the first note that they, they, um, they mentioned, so... That's probably what I'm tasting. It just tastes like bright, like clean, fruity. It's pretty good though. Let's try it with a little bit of vanilla. Just a little bit, because this is a tiny little cup. Mix it in. Guys, French vanilla. French vanilla syrup is the way to go with everything. That is really good. It doesn't taste like a decaf. I'm sure you know what I mean. Sometimes they tend to taste a little bland. This one doesn't. Definitely, if you want like another Good option for a decaf. This one, I like it. All right, moving on to Raffinado. This is a level intensity eight, like I said. Intense Guillermo stone fruit raisin. This is the one that says it's good with milk. Here is what Raffinado looks like. Looking over the box to see if I smell any of this, because I feel like this is the one that I'm leaning towards. Intense caramel stone fruit raisin, good with milk. Can't wait to try that with milk. So here it is. Definitely smells a little intense, but I could smell the caramel in this one. It has like a very caramelly scent. Wow, okay. Let's try it. It's good. It's intense, but again, it's not that really crazy intense and it's a little on the sweeter side it's not that bitter it's nice let's put a little bit of milk because apparently this is the one that says good with milk and you guys know i love my my milk and coffee so just give it a little stir wow This is the perfect intensity for milk. I could see why it says good with milk because I can still taste a good amount of the coffee, but it's softened and more delicate with the milk. And you can still taste like those toasted cereal notes that I got at the beginning. So good. I kind of want to taste this one with salted caramel. So that's what I'm going to do because that one's really good. A little mix. All right. Oh my god. 
Guys, this is so good. This is so good. This has to be my favorite out of the ones I've tried. Okay, I'm nervous to try this one, but we gotta try it. Intenso, strong, roasty, dark, traditional, and spicy. And it's funny because this one is the one that they recommend to use as an affogato or an Americano. So if you like Americanos, it'll definitely cut the intensity with when, you know, once you add the water. We've been doing lattes, cappuccinos with ours right now, so that's what we're gonna do, but if you are an Americano lover, this might be a good option. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, guys, this smells so intense. And it's nothing against, obviously, the capsule. I just don't like intense cap uh, roast. It smells like burnt wood. Dark, definitely, for sure. Oh my God. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, this one isn't punching me in the face either. Like none of these were, you guys have seen me try some pretty dark. It's definitely, okay, there it is. <laughs> it's definitely intense, but it's not as bad as what I've tried in the past. The more I drink it, okay, no. <clears throat> <laughs> the more I drink it. But again, if you guys like this intense of a roast, then you might like it because it is a little intense for me. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just my preference, but it's definitely there. The scent of everything that they describe in the box, it's there. Let's put a little bit of milk. All right. Definitely still intense, but the milk cuts it down a little bit. It's definitely intense still though. So again, if you like a dark kind of capsule, like maybe Kazar, this one is really, really comparable to that one. I think you would like this one for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try a little bit of French vanilla with this one. I feel like all of these, um, I feel like the espresso is kicking in. Yeah, this is good with French vanilla. I love it. It is strong. It is strong. So if I ever need a good, like, heavy pick-me-up, this would be the one. The, the strength is there for sure. But with milk and a little bit of flavored syrup, it's easier to drink, and that's exactly how I like my coffee. You guys know. I would definitely have to say that the winner, in my opinion, is Raffinado, a level intensity eight. This is the one that they say is good with milk. I really enjoyed this one. And then my second favorite would be this one, the Dolcetto. It's a very easy to drink capsule. It's not too strong. And then Decaffeinato, I like the fact that it's a level intensity seven. It's really nice with milk and I, I enjoyed it. This one, not so much in my book, but again, if you like a dark roast, espresso, classic, spicy, everything strong, then I think you would really enjoy this one. I just, I just don't like strong tasting coffee but there are options. Before we get started on the recipe, I do wanna mention that Berry House is hosting a giveaway. Berry House is gonna give this whole set to one lucky winner. All you have to do is follow them on Instagram, follow myself on Instagram, and like this picture over on my Instagram, and then comment which one you're most excited to try. This giveaway will end November 14th. After that, we'll pick a winner, and Berry House will send the winner all of these so yeah make sure you do all that i'll put the details if i didn't explain it correctly i'll put the details in my description box and yeah let's get started with this milk and cookies cappuccino recipe all right grab your cutest cup we're doing one capsule of raffinado pop it in whatever machine you have that takes original line capsules and brew it as espresso Next up, we're using Chobani Zero Sugar Oat Milk. About a half a cup, I think, is enough for this recipe. And froth it however you have. I have the Cortista, so it has a frother attached to it. Next up, we're using the Torani Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, guys. This syrup is super delicious. I'm using one tablespoon. That is really all you need. After that, you want to top off your drink with your frothed oat milk a little bit of whipped cream, and then garnish it with a piece of milk chocolate, and that is it. Okay, of course I spilled, but 
I'm just gonna mix everything in. That chocolate is melted very nicely to the rest of the ingredients. So just mixing everything in. Give it a little taste. This is so good, oh my God. It tastes like I'm drinking a hot cup of milk with chocolate chip cookies, but caffeinated. That's what it tastes like, so yummy. So yummy. I hope you guys get to try this recipe. It is so good. And thank you again to Berry House for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys get a chance to check them out. I'm gonna put their website and their Instagram handle down in the description below. A ton of you guys are constantly asking me if I've tried any like third party brand companies for like coffee capsules. So I think this is a perfect time to check them out. And the best part is that they have a nice selection to begin with. So hopefully you guys find some goodies in their website and you guys get to try this. Don't forget we're hosting that giveaway. It ends November 14th. And yeah, I think that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.